Hey guys, we're back with our live Scorpion News. I'm Destiny and joining me is my co-anchor, Anthony Perez. First thing first, let's talk about homecoming. The homecoming dance is Saturday, October 17th. Tickets are being sold at the student store. They're $20 with ASB, $30 without. I want to congratulate our freshman princess, Christy Pantaloza, sophomore princess, Cindy Vasquez, our junior princess, Giselle Serena, and our senior queen is going to be announced at the homecoming game tonight at 7 against Burroughs. For now, let's turn to Aldo checking in on our campus. Hey, we just finished recording Aldo doing interviews at lunch. He's actually asking people about homecoming. Let's check it out. Are you guys going to homecoming? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You guys going together, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All, right, All right, are you going to homecoming? No. You right? All right, are you guys going to homecoming? Yes, we are. With who? Each other. <laughs> All right, are you going to homecoming? Yeah, you'll catch me there again, jigging with my boy Robert and the whole squad. Shoot him out, come on. Show him. <laughs> Show him the squad. Show him. All right, are you going to homecoming? Yes, sir. With who? Nobody. <laughs> Get him up, ladies. Are you going to homecoming? Wait, real quick. You guys are from broadcasting, right? Yes. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to homecoming. All right, are you guys going to homecoming? No, not this time. Yes. Uh, it's a maybe. All right, who are you going with? Caesar. Are you guys going to homecoming? Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Who are you guys going with? Um, my friends. <laughs> are you going to homecoming? Yes. With who? I don't know, Gina. You're going? No. <laughs> are you going to homecoming? No. Nope. Are you guys going to homecoming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we going to homecoming. Who are you guys going with? Oh, there's one girl I know down south, you know. I got, there's like three girls supposed to ask me, so I don't really know. Man, why are you lying, bro? I ain't lying. Are you going to homecoming? Nah. Are you guys going to homecoming? No. No. Are you going to homecoming? No. Why not? You can go with me. No. I don't dance. Are you going to homecoming? Yes. What are you going to do there? Supervise. <laughs> Seniors, listen up, because this is for you. Today is the last day for the Quick Shot for the Yearbook, so make sure you get that done. Also, senior t-shirts and sweatshirts are in. Come down to the student store and purchase yours now. T-shirts are only $15 and sweatshirts are $25. Not all sizes will last, so get yours today. Not all students know their Chromebooks very well, and I don't just mean turning it on or off. Take a look at the following segment and we'll be right back. Hello everybody, and I'm Anthony Perez, and I'm here to talk about Chromebook safety. Do's and don'ts. Do use it as a tool for learning. Don't use it as a projectile. Do collaborate with your group member using Google Docs. Do not let your friends use your Chromebook. They should have their own. Do use your Chromebook to get schoolwork done. Don't use your Chromebook to goof off during class. 
Do use your Chromebook to navigate teacher approved websites for completing projects. Don't use your Chromebook to play games. If by chance you break any part of your Chromebook, all repairs needed must be done through the IT department currently. The prices for replacing the following parts of the Chromebook are as follows. If the Chromebook is somehow damaged or broken, it has no warranty and is by no means considered a factory defect. The cost of the Chromebook unit in total would be $215. If your Chromebook is stolen, you need to report it and get a police report. Thanks, Anthony. <laughs> Remember, students, keeping your Chromebook safe, especially in your backpack, will prevent cracks, screens, and other damages. October 22nd and 23rd is club fair. Come out and support the clubs on, on activities on campus, on the quad during lunch, and don't forget to bring your money. Broad broadcasting class will be there as well, so be sure to stop by. Speaking of broadcasting, we all want to say happy birthday to Mr. Turner. Thank you for all the hard work you've done for us. Here's something else you guys can get excited for. Drama plays are back. Come see the Iliad, the Odyssey, and all of Greek mythology in 99 minutes or less, playing through the 22nd through the 24th at Oak Hills. So start, starts at 7. All right, we'll take a little break. Let's go with Abraham with sports. I'm here with your Scorpion and QB1, Eddie Gleason. How do you feel about your upcoming game against Burroughs? Um, I think we have a pretty good chance if we just listen to the coach's plans and do as he follows and we'll come out with the victory. What are some of the challenges you are faced with this year? Um, this year, or last year, we lost a lot of seniors, so our biggest challenge this year is definitely being a young team and inexperienced, but we've stepped up to the challenge and done a good job so far. Well, have any injuries affected the team in any way? Uh, yeah, a couple weeks ago, uh, our one of our main seniors, Caesar uh, Caesar Munguia, got hurt. So, but he's back now. He's all recovered, so he'll be a big help to the team. How did it feel to see yourself on TV? Uh, it's kind of weird, like just knowing that looking at TV and that's you is pretty cool. All right. Well, good luck on your next game. Make sure you guys come out to support the team. Thanks, Abraham. Ms. Zabin is holding a, a petition for Snapchat. If a thousand students sign it, Snapchat can approve us to have our very own Snapchat live for the homecoming and key game. To sign up for more information, visit Ms. Zabin in room N20. Listen up, everyone. October is anti-bully month. Whether it's online or right in front of you, don't be a bystander. You can make a difference. For more on this topic, here's a public service announcement from Peer Tutoring. You see it on a bus. You see it happen at lunch. It happens in the classroom. When will you stand up? Let your voice be heard. Don't stand by. Take action. Hello, Scorpions. I'm Adrian Panagos, your Peer Counseling Club president. And if you are affected by bullying and need someone to talk to, we're here to help one Scorpion at a time. Please come down to counseling in room A7. If you're having a bad day and you need someone to talk to, stop by the counseling office, room A7, and talk to a student peer counselor. Elvia Canales. You may not know her name, but I'm pretty sure you've seen her around campus. She's a girl who shaved her head. Why? She shaved her head for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Thank you, Elvia, for bringing this important topic to everyone's attention. The Black and Gold Regiment will have their first competition of the season this Saturday at Oak Hills High School at 5.30 p.m. Come out to cheer them on and show your support. And now let's take a look at what's happening in the news. Hey guys, welcome to Pop Culture Review with your host Susan Monahan. Up and coming musical artists to check out include Melanie Martinez and Halsey. Halsey and Martinez are featured in the alternative pop genre alongside artists such as Lana Del Rey and Marina and the Diamonds. Here's a clip from Melanie Martinez's new album, Cry Baby. No one ever listens, this wallpaper glistens. One day they'll see what goes down in the kitchen. And here's a clip from Halsey's newest album, Badlands. I go. Anticipated new movies coming out in the fall season include the fantasy horror film Crimson Peak by Guillermo del Toro, starring Tom Hiddleston and Mia Wasikowska, who starred in the 2010 live-action version of Alice in Wonderland, which comes out on October 16th. Here's a clip from the trailer. This is your home now. And the news installment of the Bond franchise, Spectre, following the hit Skyfall, featuring a new Bond song from Sam Smith, comes out on November 6th. Here's a clip of the trailer. And in television, season 5 of American Horror Story Hotel, starring Lady Gaga, pop icon turned actress, came out on October 5th to much critical acclaim. Do what you want, don't dirty me. 
And finally, season six of The Walking Dead premieres on October 11th. This is what life looks like now. Hello, fellow Spy fans. I'm Scarlett Burgos. Today I'm here to talk about current events in the United States. In today's news, the most frequent topic of discussion has been about the 2016 presidential election. There are currently 15 Republican candidates running for president. You might have heard of some of these candidates, such as Carly Ferrina, Ben Carson, Jeb Bush, and most frequently, Donald Trump. Why Donald Trump? Well, besides him being the leading Republican candidate, his outlandish comments have political pundits talking. These comments have included remarks such as, Mexicans are criminals, and they're the reason why America's failing. But Donald also says he wants to tax the rich more and the middle class less, to lower corporate taxes, cut government spending, and stop raising the debt ceiling. So why is it that Trump has such a large support group? Well, despite his long history of liberal stances on issues such as health care, taxes, government spending, and property rights, his business success had led some voters to believe he is just what the country needs. Will Trump gain enough support to beat the leading Democratic candidates? More on this topic as it develops. Back to you, Destiny. Good job, guys. Keep up the good work. That's all for this Scorpion News. For comments, questions, or do you just want to see past episodes, visit us at HesperiaBroadcasting.com. From all of us at Scorpion News, thanks for watching.